Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable fabric sweater pumpkins. They're really easy to make and they are perfect for fall so if you want to see how I made them then continue watching. So to make this sweater pumpkin I am going to need a sweater and I did pick this up from the thrift store for I think it was like $1.75 and I did make sure that the sleeves had some give on them that way it would be easier to stretch out the pumpkin shape. I am going to be using fiber fill and this is 100% polyester. I'm going to be using embroidery floss in the color white with a ribbon and cruel needle. And also I'm going to be using some jute twine with a yarn needle. To embellish my sweater pumpkin, I do have some raffeta here in a darker brown color. And I do have a couple sticks here that I'm going to be using for the stem and I just got these from my yard. I do have some ribbon scraps that I had in a bag and I love the colors of these. I think they're going to go well with my sweater color so I'm going to be using my scraps. I do have some expired beans that I'm going to be using to weigh down my pumpkin. This step is completely optional. And I'm going to be using a hot glue gun. And I'm going to use some little small rubber bands. These are the little plastic clear bands. And of course I'm going to need some scissors. So I'm going to take my sweater here and I am just going to start off by cutting the sleeve off. So here is my sweater sleeve all cut off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it inside out. I'm just going to gather the end, one of the ends. I'm going to take a few of my rubber bands and go ahead and just wrap that around. So now I'm going to take my sweater here and turn that right side out. And this is what the bottom is going to look like. I'm going to open that up like that and place some of my dry beans in there. And this is just to help weigh it down. And now it's time for me to fill my pumpkin. Take my poly fill and start filling it up. I'm going to make sure to go ahead and start shaping that poly fill nicely. Shape it round like you know a pumpkin would be. So now I am going to sew the top of my pumpkin shut and I am using a needle with some embroidery floss on it. So I am going to start about a quarter inch down from the the edge of my material here. I am coming from the inside of my pumpkin and going to take my needle to the outside like so. I'm going around the top part of the pumpkin. I am not sewing the two sides shut together. I am making a base stitch. So basically I take my needle, put it through, go back through the inside of the pumpkin to the outside and do that the rest of the way around the outside of the pumpkin. Okay, so now I am back to where I started. I'm going to make sure that my thread ends on the inside of my pumpkin like this. Okay, so now that I have my stitch all the way up around the top and I am going to pull the string and this is going to tighten it up a bit. Um, but I do want to make sure that my stick is going to fit in there before I tie it off. So now I'm just going to tie off my embroidery thread. I'm going to make a couple knots. And then I'm going to cut the excess thread. Okay, so now I'm just going to take that out for right now, but I do know that it will fit in there. Okay. Okay, so now it's time to do my uh, twine around my pumpkin. And I did wrap this around my pumpkin uh, a few times here because I want probably about five indentations going around my pumpkin and I just need to make sure that I'm going to have enough of the um, jute to go around my pumpkin. Now the top part of my jute I have a little bit hanging down that way I don't lose my needle off the jute when I'm doing that. I have a knot at the very end and I'm going to come from the inside out of my sweater fabric here through the opening just below my stitch actually I'm going to put it and I'm going to come out through my fabric. My knot is going to actually be on the inside of my pumpkin here and I'm going to wrap that around the pumpkin and take my needle and go through the bottom of the pumpkin and then come back up through that hole in the top. And pull that excess through. 
and I am going to pull it a bit snug and when I pull it snug it's actually going to make the definition will define like the ridges of how a pumpkin would be see this so I'm going to go across the pumpkin back up through the middle through the top here and do the exact same thing. So that is what it looks like so far with the ridges in my pumpkin. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie another knot on the end of this string here. Just put that down into the middle of the pumpkin there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stick and I'm going to put some hot glue on the end of it. And I'm going to put that into the middle of my pumpkin. Work it down into there. So I'm going to take this extra material that I have and I'm going to tie a bow around my stick here. So here's the finished sweater pumpkin. I think that it turned out really cute. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.